Hello, good afternoon. Sava from Sava Talk Spurs. Hope you are all well. It's a lovely day again after some some rain showers of yesterday, which I pretty much liked, but we're back to being hot and humid. So what's my daily thoughts? What do I want to discuss with you beautiful yids and yidettes today? I don't care if we're not allowed to say it. We'll always be that. I've grown up on that. So Tottenham Hotspur, the rumour mill continues with two weeks to go in the transfer window. Two weeks to go, and we are being linked with two players that I would absolutely love. Two players that make me think, get them in. Now I'm excited. Now I want to see what we can do. Now we've backed the manager. I'm sorry, I know you're going to hate me for it. I don't think we've backed him. I don't think we've done anything to back this man yet. I think we've bought a lot of okay players, a lot of players for the future. A lot of players who don't start in the first 11, but have we backed him? These two, for me, show that we have. So, who am I talking about? Let's start with the first one. Serge Milinkovic Savic of Lazio, 27, Serbian, quality player. Now, what I love about this guy, and you guys and girls tell me in the chat, remember this is pre-recorded, you guys tell me in the chat, do... Spurs need Milenkovic Savic. What does Milenkovic Savic bring to Tottenham Hotspur? Tell me, what does he bring? Because for me, he brings everything. This guy's a workhorse. He's got good passing. He can sit in front of the back four. He can play central midfield. He can play off the front man. He gets back. He gets forward, box to box. And he scores goals and he assists. This is the dream signing for me in central midfield. This is the sort of signing that when Spurs fans who have not seen him play, see him play, will go, wow, we really did over-egg players like Hoiberg, like Skip. I'm saying they're not decent, but this is up there. These are There's levels to this game. This guy is a game changer. For me, I would make this happen all day long. I don't know what they're wanting in price. I don't know if these rumours are true. But if Spurs want to be a big club, we want to show ambition. We want to back a manager. This is the type of signing that I think we need to make. 27 years of age, great age. And the reason I bring that up is it's not always 20 and 21 year olds. He's not 33 at the other end of his career. He's at the peak of his career. He's got four or five good years left in that central midfield, bossing it. Last season, he got 22 goal contributions in 36 games in Serie A. He got 11 goals and 11 assists from central midfield. That's phenomenal. If one of our players did that, we would be wetting ourselves. That is phenomenal statistics. More than that, he's an international as well. He's played multiple games for his country. He's a seasoned pro. This is a bloke you bring in, you stick him in central midfield, and then the argument becomes who plays with him, not does he play. This guy is that good. So tell me, have you all seen Milenkovic Savic play? Did you rate him? What do you like about him? Who would you play alongside him? Do Spurs have that ambition to go and get him? Because money talks. Now, whilst we could say it's hard to get players, and I'm not going to belittle Lazio because they are a big club in their own right, but they're not big enough that we can't go and take one of their star players. Surely, surely that was the point of Champions League, this stadium, Conte, right? That was the point of this, that we can go and say, how much you want for Milinkovic Savic? Well, 50, 60 million, bang. Because if you're going to pay 60 million pounds for Richarlison as a centre forward, who most fans told me yesterday on every poll I did, on the show I did, the number of fans that don't want to see this man start games. If you can spend 60 million on him, then we can definitely spend 60 million on Milinkovic Savage. We've not really spent a lot. When you look at our net, we've not spent a lot. When you look at Champions League money, the cash injection, player sales, we've not really spent a lot. This, for me, guys and girls, if you can't tell, this makes me now start having the conversation of, do I think we're going to finish higher than fourth? Yeah, I do. With this guy in the team, yeah, I do. Keep this guy fit, play him every game, 
this for me takes us to another level. Wouldn't know what to do with it, would you? If I was coming on here every day going, yep, I think we're third, maybe second, wouldn't know what to do with it. You'd have to stop calling me negative. But these are the players for me that make the difference. No offence, not the Spences, not the Longleys, not the Richarlison's or the Forsters. Yeah, these players. Let's move on to the second player. So leave your thoughts, leave your thoughts. What do you think about this player? Let's move on to the second player. Again, a really good footballer, this guy. A, a player I'd really like to see and I think walks into a lot of teams. Slightly older at 29, Malinowski, Ruslan Malinowski of Atalanta. Now, for anyone that watches Atalanta, you will know that they play a lovely brand of football. They, they keep the ball well, they move it, good patterns, they work hard, they've got a lot of technical players, and this guy is one of them. In the last two seasons, in the last two seasons, sorry, Ruslan Malinowski has got over 30 goal assists, goal contributions, sorry, in, in Serie A. This guy can play from the right, he can play from the left, and he can play an attacking midfield off the forwards. He's also been known to play as the leading man up front. He can play with his right foot, he can play with his left foot, and he loves a shot from outside the box. If anyone gets the chance, if you haven't seen this guy, go and look at his YouTube clips. Now, I know it's difficult to judge a player off YouTube, but use it. Have a look. This guy's really good. Loads of energy. Powerful. Great shot on him. And, and the cherry on the top. This guy is a set-piece specialist. We don't have a set-piece specialist. This guy is one. So I put it to you people. If we sign Malinowski and Savage, and they're talking about Malinowski at 18 to 20 million, because he's got one year left on his contract. If you had to lay out 80 million now to get those two and got them in the first team, where would we be? I think all of a sudden we solve so many problems. We, we solve flair. We solve a player in midfield that can get goals and assists. For me, these are no brainers. This is what I want to see. This is what would make me go from negative to positive. By the way, I don't consider myself negative. I consider myself realistic. Can we do it? What do you think of these two players? Have you seen them play? What could they do to Tottenham Hotspur? Tell me. Leave your thoughts. Would you like to see Sava coming on to shows every week going, oh, I think we'll finish second. These are game changers, people. Absolute game changers of footballers. So when people are telling me Spurs can't sign world class... These two aren't world-class, but they're game-changers. Too many people in the comments all the time, well, some players aren't gettable. Every player's gettable. Every player's gettable in the right circumstance, with the right money. Yeah, oh, what if a club don't want to sell? Pay what they want. They will sell. I really want us to show this ambition. I, I feel like I'm constantly perceived as negative, but I feel like others are negative for not wanting more. I feel like I'm positive for wanting improvement. And I don't see what we've done in this window so far as anything earth shattering. I see that we've bolstered the bench with some players, but not improved the 11, really. These two change that. So I'm going to leave it there. Please like this video. It really does help. Please subscribe. Sava Talk Spurs had a lot of subscribers the last few days. So thank you very much. And I'll be live tonight with Henry Wright of Wright, Henry Wright TV. Savon Wright, live tonight. We're going to go live at 9pm tonight, not 10pm. We'll be talking about all of the transfer rumours, transfers that happened in the last week. We'll look back at the Premier League action from the weekend. And we'll look forward to this weekend's Premier League games. So please join us. And then Monday night, I'll be live with the one and only Ransom Bants. And I can't wait for that one. Please join me in all of these shows. Thank you for your continued support. And I'll catch you soon. Take care.